think that now the, the campus has adopted the, the idea that people can coexist together. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the campus is aware of racism. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're making a, an effort, an honest effort to, to try to merge that gap. But I, I think it still exists in a more underground way. There's definitely a history uh, because of any time you have the merging of, you know, people together, there's a history of, of bias. I think the university sincerely, and particularly Dr. Adams, uh, has, has had that on high on his agenda to raise uh, the level of, of, uh, of uh, African American students. We've come a long way in, uh, in, a, in a short period of time. It's different. People don't outright say, yeah, I'm a racist. Yeah, I don't like black people. It's more like, I don't have to deal with black people if I don't want to. I don't think it's the same type of hate that it probably was during the 60s when it first desegregated. Like I said, it's more like avoidance. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the groups just kind of stay to themselves. And, like, it's probably just because a lot of people who come here haven't grown up. They grew up in Metro Atlanta protected and sheltered mm -hmm. from, you know, other races, and they just don't know any different. What really concerns me on this campus is I believe that it's institutionalized um, from an administrative standpoint um, with the way the departments are set up and the type of things and the initiatives the university pushes. And what I mean institutionalized, it's just not an environment that is conducive to breaking down those racial barriers. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that uh, uh, I've noticed, I noticed when I got here, and that really concerns me, and, and a bastion for racism, is in the Greek system. It's awful, but it's the truth. Should be the conversation made you.